Tech Tip 1. CNC Part Probing. CNC part probing is a process that is used to determine the location and orientation of a workpiece on a CNC machine. It involves using a probe, which is a specialized tool that is mounted on the machine, to touch the surface of the workpiece and collect data about its position and orientation. Probing is typically used to set up a part for machining, to check the accuracy of a machining operation, or to verify that a part has been machined correctly. It can also be used to calibrate the machine or to update the work coordinate system WCS, or tool offsets. There are several different types of probes available, including touch probes, laser probes, and vision probes. The type of probe that is used will depend on the specific needs of the application and the capabilities of the CNC machine. Probing requires careful setup and execution in order to be accurate. It is important to use the correct probe cycle, set appropriate speeds and feed rates, establish a reference point, and check for interference. There are some key points to consider when part probing. Number 1. Use a dedicated probe tip. It's important to use a probe tip that is specifically designed for probing, as regular cutting tools may not be accurate or reliable for this purpose. Number 2. Set up your machine correctly. Make sure that your machine is properly calibrated and that the probe is mounted securely before starting a probe cycle. Number 3. Use the correct probe cycle. Different machines may have different probe cycles available, so make sure to use the one that is appropriate for your machine and the type of probing you are doing. Number 4. Check for interference. Before starting a probe cycle, check for any potential interference points such as clamps or fixtures that may get in the way of the probe. Number 5. Establish a reference point. It's important to establish a reference point for your probe cycle, such as the center of a hole or the top of a workpiece. This will help ensure that the probe readings are accurate. Number 6. Use appropriate speeds and feed rates. The probe should move at a slow and controlled pace to ensure accurate readings. Make sure to use appropriate speeds and feed rates for the probe cycle. Number 7. Check probe offsets. Before starting a probe cycle, it's a good idea to check the probe offsets to ensure that they are correct. This will help ensure accurate readings.